Okay, so I want to show you how I made this moving target <clears throat> out of an old cordless drill that I had. Um, basically what I did is I took a cordless drill, took a battery pack apart, um, took the battery cells out of it because they weren't holding the charge anymore, and I ran this cord straight in here. Um, let's see if we can untangle this a little bit. So you can see that cord goes straight to these battery clips, connects onto the battery. There's, there's actually a lot of YouTube videos out there that show you how people have, have uh, rewired their cordless drills to run off 12 volts. Um, so that's pretty easy to do for you to find information on that if you want more details. But what I did was I took the, the motor out of it and uh, I took the motor out and used the wires that were connected to the motor and connected them to this cord here. Um, left the switch mechanism in here with the variable speed switch and the forward and reverse connected still. Ran this wire out, put a plug on the end of it. It's like this, it's just a household plug. Plug that into an extension cord. And so my extension cord can be however long I want uh, to be as far away from this setup as I need to. And so on this end, see I put another plug on a piece of um, on a piece of the same uh, cord, and I ran that cord up. And see that's just connected into the old drill motor. There you see, the old drill motor that came out of that cordless drill, and uh, it's just wired up just like it was connected inside the drill. So I made this bit, used an old pulley wheel and uh, a bolt, ran a bolt straight through it and ground it down a little bit so that it would get some bite. Uh, tighten that thing in there so that gives me the pulley that I need. So I have this parachute cord running across the top so this will spin when the drill runs. I have that parachute cord. Let's see down on this end. A little bit closer. So here you can see the parachute cord makes a full loop around to another wheel, another pulley wheel on that end. And then down here, it connects right to uh, these little pulleys that I have hanging on this cable. So this is a, um, this is some galvanized cable that basically just ran from this eye hook here. I used these ratchet straps to tighten this thing down. They're just staked these big old stakes, put those in the ground. Use a ratchet strap, tighten it down. Nothing fancy here. Um, had a little trouble with the stakes coming out of the ground, but if I do them at the right angle, they seem like they'll hold pretty well. Same thing down here, eye hook, uh, where the cable connects, another ratchet strap down to the stake. This is the under my other end of my parachute cord. You can see I have the pulley wheel here and bungee cord just to kind of get it tight wherever I need it. So let's walk back down here, show you how this thing works. Got my battery hooked up. So well, really all I can need to do is pull the trigger, put it in forward, pull the trigger on this thing, and away it goes. Let's back it up. It's a little bit slower in reverse. It's just how the drill is geared, I suppose. But in forward, high speed, it'll move along pretty good. I could also put some bigger pulleys on the uh, on the bits there if I wanted to make it go even faster. So I'm happy, happy with it like it is right now. So that's what I did. It's a lot cheaper than buying one of the uh, ones that's available online. So. Uh, We'll see how long this lasts. Uh, nothing else. It's just an old cordless drill that wasn't worth anything to me. No, no loss there, really. So that's what I did.